Welcome back to the channel. This is CP the Artist. Here to talk about love, life, art, not in that order, but we're gonna get into it. So this morning, I woke up, went on my YouTube, see what, what was going on on uh, like my feeds or whatever. And uh, I came across this video um, and it was about the differences with pursuing a black woman over pursuing a white woman and how white women are more desirable than, uh, I, you know what, let's just go straight to the video. I'm gonna play it for you and we're gonna review all the things that this person is saying and I'm gonna give my two cents on, on what I feel about it. The YouTube channel, it, it's called uh, Why It Matters. Let's get into it. And is a club, a mixture of black and white. Then, if you go on that just to pull and get something for the night and bed up, forget about checking black women because black women don't more or less don't do that shit on the same night. You just go straight to the white woman. Straight. Forget about all this. Like, see, women are like hurdles around the track, and there's certain hurdles to overcome. Buy them a drink, chat them up, say the right things, and do a little bit of flirty, flirty, and then eventually talk about taking them home and whatever like. Now, a black woman, trust me, man, there's enough hurdles around that track, enough hurdles to overcome if we get to the finishing line. And the finish line is going home with her. A white woman, there's only possibly one or two hurdles on that track. And it is all about overcoming hurdles. And if you want the easiest course possible and the less hurdles possible, you're going straight to a white woman. And that's just a matter of fact. Whether or not all right, so as you heard, he talks about that the differences between white women and black women is hurdles. That with a black woman, you have to go over more hur hurdles than you have to do with white women. Everybody is an individual and everybody don't think the same. Everybody is not raised the same. So making blanket statements about black women and white women and so forth and so on. Look, let's be honest. There are easy black women. There are easy white women there are hard to get black women and there's hard to get white women there there's it has less to do with the color of a a woman's skin and more to do about how she was raised her value system let's get more into the video people get upset or what i don't care it's just a matter of fact and that's the way it happens out there in the real world so would you prefer black girls to be more like that um, I would prefer black girls to have a more of an easier attitude towards the opposite sex. Oh, are you, black are you saying one is easy and one is troublesome? Or I, I just explain it to me. I don't, I, let me understand exactly what you're saying. Are, well, you, are you saying that for in your experience, white women are easy or easier going or more chilled out? Are you saying that black women have hang-ups or that they are more like they, they would like to, well, get to know you before they sleep with you? Just let me understand exactly what you're saying before well, I come in. Clearly, clearly, white women are more... It's gonna sound, oh man, I'm, not, anyway, I'm gonna say it anyway. White women are more appreciative to a black man. Now, I know that saying is gonna cause enough trouble, but it's just a matter of fact. There's nothing I say that's not true on the street. I'm not talking about radio business. People come on and come and say their political correct things. I'm just telling you as it is. What he says here is that white women are more appreciative to black men than black women are to black men. He says this is a fact. I don't agree with that at all. I think that all women have a specific type. Whether you're a white woman or you're a black woman, if you have a type that you are attracted to, you're going to be more appreciative of your type. Like if a, if a white woman is looking for a certain type of man or approaches her, then she's gonna be a lot more appreciative. I do not think a white woman is gonna look at every single black man and be like, yeah, I appreciate him. And also, I think that you have to design yourself to be more attractive to the, to the type of woman that you're looking for. And when you have value, when you create your own value, you will appeal to what you are looking for. And 
I think that that's something that we have to keep in mind that you attract who you are. And if you are a, a, a black man that, that's coming off with, with some type of, like this, this person right here, seems like he's, he's generalizing and he has a, 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 um, a problem with black women. I think that that's gonna cause him to gravitate to other races. There are white women that will nag you, that won't clean, they won't cook. Um, I think, I think this is more of a westernized problem than a color problem. Now, statistically speaking, more and more women are not being traditional women. And sorry to offend people, but it is. A lot more women are or more independent and not taking more um, traditional roles than they did back in the 60s and, and 70s. And that's, that's due to uh, the change in political structure, the change in our society, and um, so forth and so on. I believe if you're a black man looking for a good black woman, she is out there. there she is out there. If you are a, a good black woman looking for a good black man, he is out there too. But I think that we have to stop the generalizing and we have to stop living in this echo chamber, especially in, in you know, on the internet and social media of black man ain't this, but black women ain't this, so forth and so on. At the end of the day, right, the grass is not green on the other side unless you water it, period. And if we're looking, and we're going to be honest with ourselves, we have to look into what is, is making our own selves unattractive. You could get, you know, there's a saying, right? You could get more with honey than you could do with vinegar. And I think that if we start opening up ourselves a lot more better and being more cognitive of, of who we are, we are going to attract what we want. But it's not going to happen with generalizing people and losing out on a potential woman that, that you're going to um, uh, uh, lose out because of your generalization and your ignorance. Thank you. Uh, I hope you got something from this topic. Please like and subscribe and we'll talk again. Peace.